Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played a couple of hours back. Now I was playing as white here and start off with d4, open response with d5. I went with bishop g5, uh, provocating opponent from playing e6 early, uh, which opponent cannot now because of the pin on the queen with the bishop. Open develops the knight on to d7. I go with e3. Up in place, knight f6. Uh, I develop my bishop onto b5, pinning the knight, which opponent, of course, can simply kick my bishop backwards by playing pawn forward. Uh, I brought my bishop, my bishop back onto d3. Here, opponent goes for e5, trying to break open the center. I took out the pawn, opponent takes back with the knight, and now I develop the other piece, knight to f3. Here, my opponent plays a bishop to g4, trying to pin the knight. And eventually hoping for my for spoiling my pawn structure because say if I play c3, opponent can take with the bishop and then I cannot take back with the queen because the knight is already staring it. So I'll have to take with the pawn and my king side pawn structure will be ruined. So instead I just got my bishop backwards now onto e2, uh, defending my knight further. Open does take with the knight, I take back with the bishop, open exchanges the bishop as well. Now my queen is on f3, which is decent enough though it's eyeing uh, this pawn chain but my idea was then to capture the knight after queen takes i can take back and my open pawn section will be spoiled uh, and it will be a good end game from there on here my open plays bishop e7 understanding that fact that i can ruin the pawn structure i play c3 here uh, and open now brings queen on to b6 i get my queen back onto e2 trying to defend the uh, pawn on b2 here my opponent tries to kick my bishop uh, backwards. I went to h4 with it because the bishop is not defended, so knight cannot be moved away. Uh, so I had this attack constantly on the uh, on the bishop. Maneuvered my queen here onto c2. Opponent brings rook onto e8. Now opponent can get the knight active, uh, and it will be a nasty knight standing on e4 for a lot of time. So I thought, let me just maneuver it, uh, move it out of the game. I took it on and opponent takes back with the bishop. Now, the problem is the bishop is eyeing the wrong side of the, of the attack. Here, um, uh, the opponent's bishop is, I, I won't say it's active. Uh, plus, I can castle now, develop the knight. I'm pretty good with here after exchanging. So I just castled. Open goes queen backwards onto c7. Maybe the idea is next to bring the bishop here and I this diagonal. I went with knight to d2. Opponent starts pushing the pawns from the queen side. A5 comes up. I went with knight f3. And then a4. I just played a3 there, trying to block the pawn from moving forward. Now b5. And now rook on the open file, trying to follow the principles. Uh, now rook comes onto e4. Nice rook left by the opponent. Maybe just trying to exchange bishops. Uh, maybe just getting the rook active onto g4, pressurizing on g2 eventually. Maybe getting the queen uh, somehow later on in the game. Uh, and that's what my opponent's plan looks look like. Uh, I just played g3 here, preventing any moves like a rook coming on to h4. And my uh, knight doesn't have to babysit that square uh, forever. Now, open goes back with the rook. I went with knight to d4. And now, open starts pushing the pawn from the king side, h5. You see the eagerness in the opponent. Uh, opponent is trying to make things open. So opponent is trying to do something or the other, trying to gain advantage. Whereas I am just responding to what my opponent is doing. Uh, so not taking the initiative, but letting the opponent do it. I just got my queen on e2. Open still pushes the pawn forward to h4. And now queen to g4. Uh, open gets the rook now onto e4. I just sidestep with the queen on h3. Opponent takes on the pawn, which I now take back with h2. Now, my idea is simple to put my king up and then align for a nasty attack on the king side. So, opponent first of all took on the knight, which I now take with the rook, asking opponent to take the rook as well because I don't want this rook to be here, uh, standing on my face. Opponent does take, I take back with the e pawn. Uh, again, the plan is similar on the similar lines. Opponent gets the rook on the open file. Now, king to g2. Uh, open here brings queen onto c8, trying to exchange queens. Nice idea by the opponent. But here, uh, I just uh, hold it on for a moment. I thought uh, maybe I'm better in this position, so I should not be exchanging queens. Why I'm better? A, uh, 
my queen is uh, lined up already on the h5 which is opened up i can get my rook eventually here and then again go for a quick checkmate attack as well even if not that my opponent had 59 seconds on the clock whereas i had 2 minutes 32 seconds which is a serious advantage in time uh, when you're playing blitz so i thought okay just let me not give my queen so i put my queen on h5 which was the best move as well as per the computer now opponent brings queen onto e6 and now i double up uh, uh, on to uh, by rook to h1 here my opponent gives a check uh, and i had to uh, uh, i could have just got my uh, king back but then again a check would follow up and then i had to move uh, this can lead to a repetition uh, which would be, end up in a draw so i rather thought okay let me not just go into this but uh, i'll play my queen on to f3 asking my opponent to take because after opponent takes my king gets uh, more closer towards the center and which is nice for me in the end game, king has to be more active. I'm not allowing my opponent to place king onto e2, so which is nice after opponent takes. But my opponent denies taking and plays uh, f6 there. And I just went with rook to h4. Now asking opponent to take, which opponent does take, and I take back. And now uh, opponent plays king to f7. Here I just kept my, uh, I pushed my pawn to g4, which was bad. I should have just got my rook backwards so that there's no possibility of opponent coming to the last rank but here my opponent comes and so i thought okay let's go for the counter attack so i went with h8 opponent goes for my b2 pawn and i go for the opponent's c6 pawn we both take each other's pawns there uh, and then opponent places rook onto b3 there comes rook c5 and we capture uh opponent catches the pawn i move my king towards the rook and uh, hit and i now i have to go back in time so that this doesn't promote so i just give a check with the rook first uh again clock is important 27 seconds against 1 minute 12 seconds uh, here my opponent runs away with the king on to g6 i go behind the pawn which uh, my opponent blunders by moving the rook trying to go for my f2 pawn i took on the pawn which opponent also takes and now rook goes back on to a5 opponent defense and now i place my king on to e3 now king to g5 by opponent i went with uh, king f3 trying to defend the pawn opponent pushes and now rook goes back again attacking the pawn we capture here and then i get my rook backwards on to a8 opponent tries to pin my pawn there uh, so i just try to defend it with the rook opponent goes down again with the rook i just maneuver my king and after a few moves uh, we end up in this situation where i can take another pawn Open keeps pushing for the pawn. I got another pawn on b5. Now the pawn is too close uh, for, for from queening. I have to come back in time. Uh, and then here, uh, in this moment, I first give a check, allowing opponent's king to move further up, which was bad. Should have controlled it a lot better. But here my open blunders the final uh, move, which is rook to e1. You can call it time pressure because 7 seconds was 35 seconds. But it was a drawish kind of a situation from there on opponent hangs up the rook i take up and take back with the pawn queening it but i can take back and now it's two pawns versus the lone king so it has to be a winning situation anyhow uh, we play a couple of moves before my opponent uh, is timed out so i hope uh, it was instructive enough and you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content thanks for your time Take care. Bye-bye.